Hi, guys. Hello to my friends in the virtual world. I hope that this message is finding you in a state of peace. I know that um, things have changed for us drastically in the past few months and is causing a lot of distress, as it should. If we were in this state of being without feeling any sense of anxiety, uh, sorry, there are fighter jets flying by right now at the Air Force Base here in Buckeye, Arizona. So if we were, you know, going through this experience and not feeling any sense of anxiety or, um, you know, fear of the unknown, that really wouldn't be normal. And so I think that um, our space within social media has probably made it a little more intense as well. I see that there's a lot of uh, you know, fighting going on between everyone and their belief systems about how to handle what's occurring. And I don't have a recipe for that. I don't have the answer because no matter what idea we come up with right now, it will not appease the masses. And I think I've mentioned it many times here, uh, you know, just to throw my thoughts out about how I feel about things is this witnessing of sattva, rajas, and tamas, and how it is very, very clear that uh, the divisions in consciousness have never been more clear than they are right now. But the reason why I'm here with this video today is uh, I've been threatening it, so to speak, for years now, I think. Those who have cleansed with me, I'm always saying that I will, you know, uh, start offering some videos, and uh, I have resisted it <laughs> so, so strongly. I don't know why, but I, uh, I, I use this space to speak with people all the time. So we see each other face to face as best we can to still communicate, to still connect. And I feel that it's just as important to do so with community um, I very much miss having class and being in a group of people and really feeding off of everyone else's energy. Uh, I'm still, uh, you know, allowed to feel that space in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, uh, in a one-on-one -on -one class, of which, you know, I hate using the word class because I'm not teaching anything. Uh, I'm sharing it. Uh, I am sharing the yogic practice and, and all the things that have healed my life. And I'm sharing the Ayurvedic practice and all of the knowledge and information that I have been blessed with to come across in my life. But I by no means take the title of a teacher because I'm not teaching you something you already know. I'm just sharing with you something you may have forgotten. And so that being said, I want to continue to reach out and connect. And it seems that the video space uh, is the most viable space for that to occur right now. And so just yesterday, I had a lovely crowd of um, gatherers, gatherers, attendees to talk about Ayurveda and how it helps us to manage our emotions and our mental state. Not just for what's occurring right now, but for things that we have experienced throughout our life, um, you know, and how we process that uh, to move forward. And there were 70 RSVPs to attend this call, and I had in the end maybe 35 or 40 beautiful souls join me for a three and a half hour conversation, complimentary, uh, just to share this information. And so I've received many messages about, was it recorded? Can I watch it again? Can I, you know, I, I really want to join in in this information. And so 
again, it was just another nudge in that direction of um, it probably really is time for me to start sharing th some things that I feel uh, when I sit down with someone, they really, really benefit from it and they show it and express it. And it's really, uh, this knowledge is really changing lives and it's not something that I do because I'm motivated by money. Uh, I have a very small and humble space and um, I just want to share. So that being said, I'm here today on this video to check in and see how everyone's doing. Anyone who knows me knows I like to speak a lot, um, but to try to stay on track uh, with my message, it is that I intend to start putting together some videos that will be sharing the Ayurvedic understanding in different spaces um, from just being introduced to doshas and what they are. Uh, as well as the philosophies behind this uh, concept, these concepts. And food as medicine, how food actually has a function in our body. And these will be, you know, offerings and videos just to start to make it simple for you to implement some understanding in Ayurveda, there is no, no set of walking orders. There is no designed meal plan. There is no designed set of rules that everyone should follow. And the most important piece of implementing the Ayurvedic way of life is really understanding yourself first, who you are, what your tendencies are, and how you react to things in your environment and how they react to you. So Ayurveda is not a diet. Many people discover Ayurveda because they're looking to lose weight uh, or get healthy in some way. But it is a complete package of healing that is just as much emotional and mental, spiritual and energetic as it is physical. So that being said, I want to share this practice with you and let it be part of your healing journey. And of course, what I'm going to share is going to be general information, um, but there are simple things that you can do in your life to start to draw yourself back to your natural design. And that would be foods, that would be practices of quiet and stillness, that would be contemplation. That would be using products on your hair and skin that come from the earth that do the same job that the chemicals do. And really understanding things in small bites. So I've been promising all of those, all of you who are connected to me know that I've been saying, oh, I'm going to start doing these videos. I think it's been about two years now. So now is the time I have been resisting it, but here we are. So that being said, we're all in a weird space and there's no denying that. I had a post, you know, conversation yesterday speaking about spiritual bypassing of which we're not doing here. We're sitting down, we're looking in the mirror and we're looking at what got us here. Maybe it was something we were taught. Maybe it was something we weren't taught. Maybe it was something we knew but forgot. Maybe it was something we need to learn. There is no way to sugarcoat our situation. And my personal feelings about it are mine. And I don't have to try to have anyone believe what I believe. We're all entitled to it. It's all our own thought process. It's okay. We don't have to fight with each other about what we believe. And in the meantime, take care of you. Sit down and have a good long look in the mirror. And take a look at what's been processed. Whether it's what you 
eat, what you see, what you taste, what you smell, what you hear. How is it serving you? How is it healing you? And are you feeding your own imbalances? Just come to stillness. And all the answers will come. It's only in the stillness that we can hear the divine voice the one that tells the birds to fly south in the winter, the one that speaks to the trees and they know to grow towards the sky no matter what direction they come out of the ground. We all have divine understanding and a way to take care of ourselves. We just have to sit down and think about it so we can remember. And it won't matter what Facebook says. It won't matter what any leader says. It won't matter what anyone else believes but you. So take it easy. In the meantime, let everyone have their own thoughts. It's karma, my friends. Whether you wear a mask or you don't wear a mask, or who you support, or if you believe in the illness or not, it, it doesn't matter. You're in the right space you're supposed to be in. And karma will reveal you the truth, whatever it may be. So that being said, I wish you all a beautiful Monday night. And if you are so inclined, please head on over to my YouTube channel and give it a subscription if you'd like to see some of the videos that I'm going to be sharing here pretty soon. So I thank you. If you have listened to this whole little speech of mine, I thank you for your time. And I'll see you soon. Namaste.